everyone in this video i will discuss about d husband alphan effect so video ko shuru karne se pehle kya kya equation hum use karenge uske bare mein thoda hum discuss kar dete hain jaise pehle 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 hum jo equation use karenge that is uh, line integral of h cross k vector dot dr is equals to minus of 2q by c phi by phi is magnetic flux and we use uh, बोर समर फील्ड रिलेशन एक्चुअली ये जो इक्वेशन है ये क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स में हम लोग हम लोग इसको पढ़े हैं जैसे सेकेंड इक्वेशन है बोर समर फील्ड रिलेशन ऑफ क्वांटाइजेशन ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड एटॉमिक फिजिक्स में इसको हम पढ़े हैं ठीक है इक्वेशन को लास्ट इक्वेशन इज टोटल एनर्जी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन हुई चार पार्सिल ऑक्यूपाइड लेवल एस प्लस वन इज यही चार इक्वेशन तीन इक्वेशन को हम इस्तेमाल करेंगे अगर आप ये सब इक्वेशन से फेमिलियर है तो कोई बात नहीं अगर नहीं है तो रिमेम्बर कीजिए ये सिर्फ थ्री थ्री इक्वेशन हम यूज़ करेंगे और इसमें कुछ नहीं है डी हजमन अल्फा इफेक्ट में कुछ नहीं है मैथमेटिकल कैलकुलेशन सारा सारा करेंगे ओके सो so, और एक चीज़ मैं बता देता हूँ क्वेश्चन इसको दो दो टाइप से पूछ सकते हैं पहला हुआ डी हजमन अल्फा इफेक्ट एंड सेकेंड वन इज एक्सप्लेन क्वान्टाइजेशन ऑफ ऑर्बिट इन ए सॉलिड अंडर मैग्नेटिक फील्ड एंड हैंड्स एक्सप्लेन डी हजमन अल्फा इफेक्ट दोनों में पूरा करना पड़ेगा ऐसे भी पूछ सकते हैं और ऐसा ब्रेक करके भी पूछ सकते हैं क्योंकि जो डी हजबन अल्फन इफेक्ट का हम जो शोइंग प्रूव करेंगे उसको प्रूव करने से पहले हमको जो क्वांटाइजेशन ऑफ ऑर्बिट ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इस एक्सप्रेशन को हमको शोइंग करना पड़ेगा उसके बाद उसके उस इक्वेशन की मदद से हम इसको डी हजबन अल्फन इफेक्ट को प्रूव करेंगे ओके अगर डी हजबन अल्फन इफेक्ट बोलेगा तब भी एक क्वांटाइजेशन ऑफ ऑर्बिट इन सॉलिड अंडर मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इसी इक्वेशन को निकल निकलना पड़ेगा नहीं पूछेगा तब भी निकलना पड़ेगा ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर वीडियो सो व्हाट इज डी हजबन अल्फन इफेक्ट एक्चुअली देर आर मेनी पावरफुल एक्सपेरिमेंटल मैथड है डेवलप्ड फॉर द डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ फर्मी सर्फेस वन ऑफ देम इज कॉल्ड डी हजबन अल्फन इफेक्ट ओके वट इज डी हजबन अल्फन इफेक्ट डी हजबन अल्फन इफेक्ट इज द इफेक्ट ऑफ ऑसिलेशन ऑफ मैग्नेटिक मूवमेंट of a metal this effect can be observed at low temperature in an strong magnetic field okay now i uh, now i showing the mathematical form of quantization of orbit of uh, solid under magnetic field so we know we know field momentum Field momentum, that is P field, is equals to Q a vector by C, and kinetic momentum and kinetic momentum. That is P kinetic. That is equal to h cross k. Okay, this will be equation one and this will be equation two. Hence, total momentum. Therefore, total momentum will be field momentum. Plus kinetic momentum. Now we use equation one and two, and we can try it actually. Field momentum is Q a vector by C, and kinetic momentum is h k vector, h cross k vector, h cross k vector. Using equation one and two, here I am using equation one and Two. Now simply we integrate it and we get. Now simply, and this total momentum is p. Okay. Now simply we integrate integrate and this will be equation three. P is equals to this will be equation three. Now simply and uh, now uh, simply we integrate equation three. Equation three. And we get okay. 
so this will be simply actually we line integrate okay so dr vector and this will be q a vector by c dr vector plus h cross k vector dot dr vector okay so this will be equation 4 but we know actually we using this value here what i say this uh, h cross k vector dot dr vector is equals to minus of 2 q by c by phi and q a vector by c dot dr vector is equals to q by c phi okay this value we using but we know integral q a vector by c dot dr vector is equals to what this is equals to q psi by c and and integration of uh, h k vector dot dr vector is equals to minus of 2 q psi by c now simply i substitute this value on equation 4 and we get now now simply substitute this value on equation 4 and we get p dot dr vector is equals to what is the value of this integral <coughs> this is q psi by c q psi by c and this integral will be minus 2 q by psi minus 2 q psi by c okay so this will be equals to minus of q psi by c okay so we what i got i got actually p dot dr vector is equals to minus of q psi by c and this will be equation 5 okay now i inspire on more summer field relation okay what we show what we know about Bohr summer field summer field relation actually according to now according to Bohr summer field relation of quantization of magnetic field of quantization of magnetic field magnetic field we have what is the equation equation is uh, integral over p dot dr is equals to n plus gamma 2 pi h cross and this will be equation 6 where n is integer integer and gamma is gamma is phase correction phase correction of electronic orbit of electronic orbit phase correction of electronic orbit okay so now i simply compare equation 5 and 6 what is our equation 5 equation 5 is integral p dot dr is equal to minus of q psi by c and this equation 6 is p dot dr is equal to n plus gamma and 2 pi h cross so if we compare these two equation and we get now simply now comparing comparing equation 5 and 6 and we get minus of q q psi by c q phi by c sorry q phi by c uh, n plus gamma 2 pi h cross okay here here phi what is phi phi is magnetic flux okay here q phi by c phi is phi is magnetic flux magnetic magnetic flux okay q phi by c 
<coughs> so here phi is equals to minus of n plus gamma 2 pi h cross c by q which is the expression of magnetic flux this will be equation 7 okay which is the which is the expression which is the expression of magnetic flux but in the case of electron what in the case of electron q will be actually q is charge of uh, um, charge of material in the case of uh, electron q will be changed to uh, charge of electron we know e depends by so this will q will be minus e okay in the case of electron the case of electron q is equal to minus e thus equation 7 thus from equation 7 we can try it thus from equation 7 we can try it okay phi is equal to n plus gamma 2 pi h cross c by e okay we simply putting q is equal to minus e okay. this expression shows this expression this will be equation 8 okay this expression shows the orbit of electron quantized shows the orbit of electron the orbit the orbit of electron quantized so where is my pages yeah. <coughs> and we can write the area and the and the area of k space the area of k space is what sn is equals to n plus gamma here uh, area is like same same hoga equation sip jo a term hai h cross c h cross c niche ho jayega aur jo e hai e upar mein ho jayega but the equation will be remain same and and the main thing here magnetic field will be multiply okay what i say in the case of area of k space we simply using in same equation but here h cross c will be in the lower case and e will be in the upper case and magnetic field will be uh, extra uh, multiply in this equation okay so we can write n plus gamma is equals to 2 pi 2 pi h cross c will be in the lower case so h cross c and e will be in the upper uh, part and extra magnetic field we uh, involved okay and this will be equation equation this is 8 so this is 9 this will be equation 9 okay and the area and the area are equal the area are equal when s 1 by b n plus 1 minus 1 by b n is equal to 2 pi यहाँ पर जब area equal हो equal हो होगा तब ये जो b है इधर अगर आ जाएगा तो 1 by b होगा so 1 by b को हम थोड़ा इस form पे लिख रहे हैं for n orbital okay and uh, for the case of n orbital we using then this term will be actually be reduced or, or we can say this term will be neglected here okay so n plus gamma will be neglected but this term will be still there 2 pi by h cross c 
2 pi e by h cross c will be there okay, and this will be equation 10. This equation ko sabse last mein hum use karenge, sabke last mein use karenge to, to check the magnetic moment oscillatory. Okay. So, now I I showing the diagram of coin, how, how the magnetic field uh, uh, reacting in the tube when it is quantized. Okay. So, now I showing the diagram actually. When magnetic field B, when magnetic field will be 2B, okay, here, but here, the diagram seems like this okay this is the diagram of plot of plot of tubes of quantized magnetic level tube of quantized magnetic level okay now one more diagram actually this diagram uh, is for how magnetic when magnetic field is applied or when magnetic field is not applied uh, this plot is on the base of magnetic field when apply and uh, when magnetic field is not applied okay when magnetic field is not applied then this will be this okay when ac actually absence of magnetic field plot of absence of magnetic field and if magnetic field is apply then diagram will be when magnetic field applied then the diagram seems like this okay or you can say this is the diagram of presence of magnetic field presence of magnetic presence of magnetic field now uh, now i write the math uh, mathematical form of d as one alpha effect the mathematical expression of mathematical representation of d as one alpha effect mathematical representation Presentation of D as Van Alphan effect. Okay, so the area, the area of successive orgi orbit in K space, the area of successive successive orbit in k space k space is del s is equals to s of s n minus s n minus 1 now i simply using equation 9 actually what equation equation this will be equation 9 actually yeah i using this equation 
so I can write S n is equal to S n is equal to n plus gamma 2 pi h cross c e into b n plus gamma n plus gamma 2 pi h cross c e into b and the for, for the case of s s of n minus 1 simply we putting here n is equals to n minus 1 then is, this will be n minus 1 plus gamma 2 pi h cross c e b what i say for the case of s n this will be this equation for the case of s n minus s for the case of s n minus 1 then n will be simply n minus 1 if we substitute here n is equals to n minus 1 then this expression this is the expression of s n minus 1 and here this expression will be n minus 1 plus gamma 2 by h cross c e b okay for the case of s of n minus 1 then n will be n minus 1 so we can say n minus 1 plus remaining is gamma remaining term gamma and uh, uh, next in the remaining term is 2 pi by h cross c e into b okay now we commoning this term 2 pi 2 pi h cross c e into b is equals to n plus gamma minus of n plus 1 minus gamma okay so here n n is, is cancelling and gamma gamma is also cancelling so we got 2 pi e b by h cross c and this will be del s or you can say the area of successive orbit in k space okay and this equation will be what this equation this is equation 10 so this will be equation 11 this is equation 11 and the and the area of single orbit in k space in k space is 2 pi by l whole square and here and here spin is neglected here spin here spin is neglected okay now i find degeneracy the expression of degeneracy so but but the degeneracy can be written as the but the degeneracy can be written as okay d is equals to 2 pi e b h cross c actually d d generates how we how i find actually this d generacy is the term of this del s what we can say degeneracy degeneracy simply we know degeneracy is del s divided by this area of single orbit this area area of single orbit area of single orbit okay this is for rough knowledge you know okay so degeneracy is del s by area of single orbit area what is the del s del s is 2 pi e b h cross c so we simply write this and uh, area of single orbit is 2 pi by l whole square so this is actually divisible so we can write here in multiply form l by 2 pi whole square okay and here we can write d is equals to d is equals to e b l square 2 pi h cross c or you can say d is equals to uh, e l square 2 pi h cross c into b and this term we consider here 
this con this term will be considered as rho actually okay e l square to uh, sorry into rho into b okay into rho into b and this will be equation what equation number equation 12 actually this will the equation 12 where where rho is e l square divided by 2 pi h cross c such magnetic level is called landu level okay this level is called uh, landu level such magnetic such magnetic level is called is called landu level so now i showing the diagram of landu level okay so this is the energy level this y axis is energy level and x axis is k actually okay this is the level when n is equals to 0 when n is equals to 1 when n is equals to 2 when n is equals to 3 okay this is the plot of plot of landu level so <coughs> But here, but here the electron, the electron transfer to lower Landu level because degeneracy d increases as b is decreases as b is decreases which is showing below which is which is showing below okay this is the diagram this will be magnetic field this is 25 this is the level of 2050 so here okay This is for S is equals S is equals to one. This is for S is equals to two. This is this line for S is equals to three. This is for S is equals to four. Okay. And <coughs> other view seems like For s equals to one, s is equal to two, s is equal to three, and this is for s is, s is equal to four. Okay. So hence we can write what? Hence we can write d is equal to degeneracy is equal to uh, proportional of one inversely proportional of b magnetic field. Okay. How I can write this? Here, here, here. What I say? degeneracy increases as b decreases what degener if d is increases then b is decreases okay just say isko roughly aap samjiye 
uh, what I say d is proportional to 1 by b ok. So, if d is equals to for rough knowledge d is equals to k proportional sign agar uh, if I remove this proportional sign then we involve a constant term ok. So, suppose one let k is equals to 100 and b is 20 then wh what I got then I got degeneracy as 5 ok. If we are doing this, if we are doing B ko 20, then we get the degeneracy hum ko mil hai, um, 5, and we consider as K is equals to 100. If B is, if B is 50, then degeneracy will be 100 by 50, so it is equals to 2. So what I say, if B ka value is jada ho hai, then degeneracy ka value ghat raha hai. And uh, B ka value agar kam ho raha hai, to D ka value uh, jada ho raha hai. Conversely, you can say if the value of D is uh, increases, value of B is decreases. Okay. So, A mene, A jo expression hai, what I say, degeneracy is increases as B is decreases. So, is is ka mathematical form mein hum isko likha. D, proportion, D inversely proportional to 1 by B. Okay, and this will be equation what? Equation number actually, equation, this will be equation, equation 12, tha. So, this will be equation 13. Thus, now I use the last equation, this equation I use, the energy of electron level. Okay, that is the total energy of electron, this equation I use. Thus, the total energy of electron which are which are partially occupied level s plus 1 is u is equals to h cross omega c s plus half n minus s d this will be equation 14 ok here s d is the number of electrons in lower level number of number of number of electrons in lower level ok Thus, thus the magnetic moment is given by thus the magnetic magnetic moment moment is given by mu is equals to minus of dou u by dou b. Here. Here the magnetic moment the magnetic moment is oscillatory function is oscillatory function that is 1 by b is co magnetic moment ko hum how I say this uh, magnetic movement will, will be oscillatory function actually this does not need any calculation ok here here what I say u is actually magnetic moment is equals to minus of dou u by dou b so what is u so for na rough knowledge you understood this what is u magnetic moment is dou u by minus of dou u by dou b ok here u is here u is h cross omega omega c s plus half n and h d ok. So, if we multiply this then this will be a constant term ok. So, we can write this here mu is equals to h cross omega c s plus half n ok minus of h cross 
omega c s plus half s d तो ये तो एक कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म हो गया इसको मान लेते हैं हम c डैश इसको मान लेते हैं c डैश और इसको मान लेते हैं c डैश और ये जो टर्म है इसको मान लेते हैं हम c डबल डैश c डबल डैश d मेन फंक्शन इज d और हियर एक्चुअली वी गोट व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ d d इज d इज प्रोपोर्शनल टू द इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू 1 बाय b ओके d इज प्रोपोर्शनल टू 1 बाय b सो वी कैन राइट means d is equals to here given d is proportional to 1 by b so d is equals to uh, c triple dash b c, uh, here uh, if we remove this uh, proportional sign then we infer the constant term and this will be so okay this will be k consider k okay so this will be equals to i write c dash c double dash k by b this is actually for rough knowledge how how i uh, Uh, earlier i said this uh, b is a uh, this magnetic moment is a oscillatory function how this uh, function will be oscillate oscillatory okay so this is for mu actually okay then uh, okay okay Here we find actually u, the value of u. Mu is equal. This is the value of u actually. So then mu is equals to mu is equals to minus of do u by do b. Here c is constant, so this will be zero, and this will be constant, so minus minus this will be plus c double dash. And here b, so we can write minus of k b square. Means here oscillate हो रहा है. Okay. Means जो b है उसका power बढ़ रहा है विथ डिविजन डिविजन के साथ उसके पावर बढ़ रहा है सो ऑसिलेट हो रहा है यू कैन से सो यू कैन से द मैग्नेटिक मूवमेंट इज ऑसिलेट विथ फंक्शन ऑफ वन बाई बी वन बाई बी के साथ ये ऑसिलेट हो रहा है ओके यू कैन से एक्चुअली दिस इज फॉर लाफ नॉलेज एक्चुअली ओके हाउ आई हाउ आई राइट दिस लाइन ए आर द मैग्नेटिक मूवमेंट इज ऑसिलेटेड विथ फंक्शन ऑफ वन बाई बी ओके फॉर दिस रीजन आई कैन राइट सो यू कैन से दिस this oscill oscillatory oscillatory magnetic moment magnetic moment of fermi surface of fermi gas at low temperature at low temperature is called ई हसबन अल्फान इफेक्ट इफेक्ट अर्लियर व्हाट आई से व्हाट इज डी हजबन अल्फान इफेक्ट डी हजबन अल्फान इफेक्ट इज द इफेक्ट ऑफ ऑसिलेशन ऑफ मैग्नेटिक मूवमेंट हियर आई प्रूव दिस दिस फंक्शन इज ऑसिलेट मैग्नेटिक मूवमेंट फंक्शन इज ऑसिलेट ओके विथ रेस्पेक्ट विथ रेस्पेक्ट ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ओके नाउ आई इंस्पायर इंस्पायर होंगे किस इक्वेशन से इक्वेशन नाइन या इक्वेशन टेन या जो हम लास्ट में बोले थे इस इक्वेशन से हम इंस्पायर करेंगे लास्ट में तो चेकिंग हाउ दिस फंक्शन विल बी ऑसिलेट या आई गॉट इक्वेशन टेन नाउ हाउ नाउ आई यूज इक्वेशन टेन ओके सो इक्वेशन फ्रॉम इक्वेशन नाउ फ्रॉम इक्वेशन टेन फ्रॉम इक्वेशन टेन वी कैन राइट एस 1 by b n plus 1 minus 1 by b n is equal to 2 pi e h cross c. Okay, here here this will be this will be replaced. This term will be 1 by b n plus 1 minus 1 by b n is equal to is replaced by del of 1 by b because it is the very its value is very small. So we um, this uh, we replace this. Value by del of one by b. Okay, and this will be two pi e by h cross c. Here, so we can say del of i b is equals to two pi e h cross c into s. Okay, so we can here we can see here we can see oscillation occur at oscillation. 
oscillation occur at intervals of 1 by b intervals of 1 by b okay